three things men should know that will always keep them above and control of the situation with women. First of all, I'm gonna dive right into it. The first one is be nonchalant. You have to be nonchalant. You gotta remember that this woman is not yours. She may not be yours. She look good. She got the look you ever always wanted. She got the physique you always wanted, but she's not yours. She owes you nothing. Remember that she, you you can't be scared to lose her because she was never yours in the first place. You know, so be nonchalant. Speak your mind. Be real. Hold, you know, don't talk too much. You know, you know, try, don't talk too much, but be yourself, but don't talk too much and don't overdo nothing. Keep it simple. Keep your mystery by not showing, only show half of what you feel and only say half of what you mean. You know, you can speak your mind, but keep it short. Don't run it all. Don't act, if you extremely happy, act only half happy. Because you got to keep, that keeps the mystery. They can sense that hold back. The reason I'm telling you that is not to be fake. You know, I'm telling you that so you can, they can feel the hold back. They feel the resistance. If you're just too open and just, blah, you can be yourself like that sometime, and, you know, but it's still going to damper a little bit of their desire. And their desire is what gives you gets the best out of them when they try and to figure something out about you. You get the best out of them. They want to they just want to seduce you. They you want to keep that mystery so they can keep them coming. If they figured you out, you know, spilled the beans. Yeah, if you popular, you know, you can do whatever. You know what I'm saying? And some of them will accept it. But it's still nothing like even when you even TI said one time, he said I'm so down to earth that it kills the star power. It kills the that star glow, you know, that it's, it, it kills that star vibe. He said, sometimes people forget that I'm T.I., you know. One time he said that, you know, in the past. He was like, one time, he said, I'm so down to earth that people often think that they forget I'm T.I., you know. Their mind, say, it's too down to earth where they don't feel that untouchableness. You got to give women and people in general, but women, give them a, give them a taste of un of um, untouchableness, like you can't be, t you just, you you royal, you're on a different level. They gotta feel that you're above them or on a different level. If they feel like they can have you or anybody can have you easily, then they're not gonna bring their all to you. They're gonna be holding back. And that's why a lot of guys don't get a lot of affection and snare, or they might get it one time. The mystery gone, you know what I'm saying? It's because you're giving too much of yourself. You're wearing your heart on your sleeve. It feels good. It's good for your health. But you're wondering why you attract a man having problems with women. You attract a man and women don't want to, you know, they're not, they, don't, they don't seem to be craving over you. It's because your personality is too open. You're talking too much. You're acting like you're scared to lose them. You have to say, I like this girl. You know what I'm saying? If she don't text, I'm going to text her this time. I might give her a call. If she don't call me back, I ain't calling her no more. You know what I'm saying? You got to have set boundaries there. Like, if she don't do this right here, I'm backing out. I'm going to reach out. I'm going to say, hey, how you doing? I might call her. I might text her one more time. Be like, you, uh, hey, if you free this weekend. If she don't respond to you after you call, you send one text. Or if she, if, you know, if you really safe, if you really gorgeous, say, you may send one more text. That's it. Once you did that, back off. You know what I'm saying? Back off. You know what I'm saying? Let it go. You have to learn how to let it go because it's never was yours. She was never yours. She just looked good. She just got the body. You don't know her personality. She, you may be better than her as a person. She may look good than most of the girls in the world, but as a person, she might be demon possessed, might be heartless. You know, she might be selfish. She might be manipulative. She might, you know what I'm saying? So you never know just because she looked good, she could be demon possessed. She could be a candy coated turd. So you just gotta watch that. You know, be nonchalant. Nonchalant. The second thing is, um, remember that no don't mean never. 
as many women that told me no this year, next, the, next, the following year they was over my house eating popcorn sitting on my lap. You see what I'm saying? So, no don't mean never. Don't get offended and mad and call, hey, you remember? Don't do it. Because the following year, I can save your marriage in the next four weeks and get your wife appreciating and loving you again daily. The following year, the following year, she might um say, "You look familiar." It's all it's all about timing, catching them at the right time. It's all about timing. You never know where a woman at her headspace at at that time. You can catch her at a time when she confident and arrogant. You can catch her at a time when she trying to get back at dudes. You can catch you can catch her at a time when she think. Her, she think her, the cure is to, to sleep with a lot of men. Their minds be all over the place and you just never know where they're getting the information from. Or, you know, if they ain't got the right people in their life, they, you know what I'm saying? They're dealing with the wrong people or the, the wrong information. If their mind weak, you know what I'm saying? They liable to do anything. So, no don't mean never. Don't don't bomb her out just because she, she stirs you up. You never want to just let it go, cut her off and go. On. You never know what what's gonna happen. You don't wanna go at her next time you see her, but she might come to you a year from now, might see you somewhere, hey, what's up? You know what I'm saying? You can give it a cold shoulder if you like, um, or you can just be, cause their mind's all over the place. You can't take them seriously. You can't take them seriously. They smart, they know what they are doing, but they emotion, their mind is all over the place. So if you wanna deal with it the second time, that's on you, but you ain't gotta take her serious, but if you just want a little company one day, that's on you. I'm just saying no don't mean never. And she could be a good girl, but just in a wrong state of mind in the following year, she ain't been ran through or nothing. She just was going through something. It could be her father passed or something like that. And she just was going through something emotionally. Then a year later, she better and she see you and she talk to you. We never know what people are going through, you know? So no don't mean never. So it's good that if you could be a, if you could, I'm, I don't recommend the friend zone, but if she look good enough, ain't nothing wrong with the friend zone. She's a good person because she may, may be taking a break. Maybe in a 10-year, 5-year relationship. And you friend, you're the most convenient dude. It might, that, <laughs> hey, that time and the, the moon might align up right that one day and she might look at you a little different. Last but not least, do not argue. Arguing turns women off. And I'm a man, all y'all men out there that speak your mind, who ain't scared to speak your mind, yeah, you, you know what I'm saying, you know you right. They don't care if you right or not. Women don't deal with facts. They deal with feelings. You have to show by action. Change the narrative. When they arguing, switch the subject. Use keywords to switch the subject. Don't switch the subject, obviously. They're gonna make it look like you're trying to avoid the question. And when you answer the question, still answer it vague um, or say you don't know. That's the best way to do it. Say you don't know or answer vague. So I gotta get back with you with that. I don't really know about that because she's trying to start an argument. Even if you, most of them, even if you're right, even if you make all the sense in the world, they won't say, I'm sorry. They won't say you're right. They won't say they're wrong. Just say, I don't know, I get back with you. Say it might be that, you know, just I don't know. Why you did it? Why you why you eat you like I don't know why I do that. I gotta figure out why I do this. Just keep on playing. Even if she try to offend you or attack your manhood. I I know you ain't gotta deal with all that. I'm just saying some women like that early when you meet them, and some of them like that later. Some of them like that, they'll never act like that, and then when you marry them, they change like you never know that most of them got it in them. Most of them have it in them. So you gotta, when it come out, you gotta remember how to deflect that talk. Control the narrative by keywords. Control the narrative. Um, so don't argue, man. Just, if you gotta walk out, you say, look at me, hey, look at this, we are, let me call you back. Let me, I'm gonna call you back, all right, sweetheart, I gotta get, just make something, say, somebody giving me a call, important call, let me, let me call you back, all right? You know, just something. Always keep, stay smooth, keep your composure. It's gonna turn them on so much they're gonna feel like they ain't got power over you it's just gonna make them feel smaller 
and make you feel so bigger because you didn't feed into the traps. This man is a real man. What can I do to weaken him? And the first thing they are gonna do is you know what? You know what they gonna come with if you if if you don't if you ignore today if you ignore the um keeping up with the demands of multiple sales they arguing if you ignore that it's so masculine to ignore the arguing and just do what you gonna do Say, she, you might not have to wife them up you just want to deal with her the way you want to deal with her. If she want to argue, let them, most of them are like that. Most women have to be tamed no more. They got to be tamed. Because they're not going to just treat you good and give you credit just because you're a good man. They're not going to give you credit just because you're a good man. You have, they, got to see, they got to see that they don't affect you. And if they feel like they don't affect you, they know it's going to give off everything... A they, you're gonna give off royalty. You're gonna give off a royalty vibe. You're gonna give off a vibe that they can, um, that you can have other women. Um, it's just so many things. You're just gonna seem powerful, man, when you don't argue. Just say, look, in your mind, say, this girl argue, she getting on my nerves. I can't wipe this girl up, but I ain't gonna get mad. I'm just not gonna wipe her up. I'm just gonna deal with her today. I might hang out with her today. I might hang out with her another time. Or I might hang with her every now and then and just when I'm bored, you know. And she ain't going to do that all the time because it's not bothering you. Only time people going to keep doing something is when they see they're getting a reaction out of you. <laughs> people observing your reaction of their behavior. You see what I'm saying? They observing your reaction of your behavior and watching and seeing how they words and their actions affect you. Even their disrespect. See, he's so big that my disrespect don't even bother him. Wow. Let me tell him I'm sorry because, you know, you just never know. Patience is a virtue, something I never had. This is stuff I'm just learning. Some of you guys may already know, but this is stuff I'm just learning. I'm trying to save you all of the years that headache and trauma and missing out on girls and not knowing how to control the narrative not knowing how to reconstruct the whole situation you are the architect you are the architect you have power to control situations beyond your wildest dreams at your job with women with everything Life and death is in the tongue. That's what the Bible says. Read the Bible. I love you. Stay prayed up in Jesus' name. Follow me on the Instagram link in the description box. Don't forget to press subscribe and hit the bell so you'll be notified for the next video. I'd like to give, all, give a shout out to all the people that's been donating to the page. Also, um, subscribe to my other pages, my comedy page, and my alternative page. Much love to you. Stay prayed up. Everything is in the description box. If you want to talk to me one-on-one, -on -one, message me on Instagram. The Instagram link is in the description box. Let me know how much time you want. I'm out. Jesus name, really the nation must love. I never knew it was something really out here that can actually make your dick a little bigger and your your dick thicker. I mean, I never I just never could understand. I never could fathom something that really can do that. I've been eating this shit, man, from the store every day and I just happen to like it. But I didn't realize that I said, "Man, why the fuck is all it my stomach getting flatter?" and unnecessary fat that I had on my body is disappearing. And I noticed that my dick got longer and my dick got thicker. What the fuck going on here? I started thinking, what have I been doing different? Come to find out, it's that shit I've been eating. If you wanna know what I've been eating, message me, it's $20. Message me on Instagram at Allery in that show, all right? And I tell you, this shit is wild, man. Allie Rillion there, that's my guy, man. He's the trophy, he wasn't lying, man. Like, really works. I ain't gonna put you on. You gotta do what I did to get on, but definitely gonna get them gains. You might have to tuck your jump off.
under your belt by your belly button because you're going to be walking around with a heart on. You <sighs> wasn't lying, bro. Definitely works. Go check my man out, Alan Yerillionaire. One. Hey guys, I've been getting emails about uh, guys that took my hand bone remedy uh, that it's working for them as well. You know, I originally told you guys it was working for me, but it's working for guys from all over the world. So hurry up and message me on Instagram at Alan Ray and this show if you want that remedy. It's good for your overall health as well, as well as your hand bone, your dick, so you can dick and grow and be strong and healthy and you can please the woman you love. Alan Ray and this show on Instagram. Hey man, this food I've been getting, I've been eating from the grocery store has really been making my hand bone bigger. You know, I I never believed that your hand bone can get bigger. You know, they got all them fake, all that fake products and all that stuff. You know what I'm saying? I never took it. I never really needed it. I was always okay in my book when I was on the hard. But now this thing take it to another level. I, I don't know, I guess it increased circulation naturally or whatever, but this joint is making my sperm count and sex drive to another level. Um, I don't know what it's doing, but it has burnt, it's burning fat all around, like, I'm, it's burning unnecessary fat around my body, the unnecessary fat, and uh, it's just, it's making me skeet, it's, my sperm count is vicious, so... I mean, I wouldn't recommend you to go raw when you smashing somebody with this because it, it it has increased my sperm count to like 80%. And I was already okay. But this is on another level, man. Um, this is on another level, man. Uh, I should just tell you for free. But ain't nobody tell me for free. <laughs> so... Um, if you want to know what this product is, you can get it. I eat it every day now. I put it on all my, you know what I'm saying? I eat it every day. Um, but if you want to know this product, man, inbox me, holler at me. It's for $20. And um, I'll give you, you know, I give, I'll tell you what it is. It work, you know what I'm saying? Um, but yeah, this this product right here is, ain't nothing to be played with, though. I mean, it ain't nothing to be played with. It's going to definitely, <laughs> people that want to lose weight and they want a bigger, bigger hand bone. You can't get no better than that. It's working. Look at my arm. Look at that shit. My stomach done got small. I was never that big, but I had unnecessary. I had, I had unnecessary fat on me. The unnecessary body fat is on me. I can feel my muscles in my stomach. Um, it's just take. It's gonna take a, away your unnecessary body fat. You know what I'm saying? You going? I done lost. I don't. I didn't want to. I don't. I didn't want to lose weight because I was never that big, but it took unnecessary fat off me. So I done lost 10 pounds in two weeks. Now, I don't know how much you're going to lose. I didn't want to lose it. I just I just saw my pants falling off my, you know what I'm saying? And I'm trying to figure out what's going on because I'm still eating the same. But ever since, I noticed what have, what have I been doing different? I realized I've been eating this food every day. Um, I'm addicted to it, but now that I see the benefits of what it's doing to me, um, I'm just telling you all, but I'm going to charge you $20. So if you want to know, hit me up on Instagram at Alan Reagan Air Show on Insta. That's my Instagram. The link is also in the description box and, uh, hit me up. Let me know you want that. You want to know that product, but it's $20. So you're going to have to, uh, pay $20 to get the information, but, uh, but yeah, much love, man. Hey, this is crazy. I, I'm, I don't know. It's doing a lot to me. I got more energy. I'm talking faster. So a lot of y'all probably noticed that I'm talking a lot faster than I usually do. Uh, it, it, this is a product, man, that's really, they not even paying me. I'm just having to stumble across it. And I'm seeing the benefits it do for me because, you know, and it's vicious. So, so I, rec I recommend you to, um, I recommend y'all to do that. You know what I'm saying? Hit me up on Instagram and get that product. You know, it made it made, it made my uh it made my dick like it made my dick two inches bigger and two in uh and uh and an inch and a half thicker. You know, it really made it like an inch and it might have made it two inch thicker, but it's definitely looked like it's about an inch and a half. I know it's at least an inch and a half thicker. It could be two inches thicker. So yeah, you're gonna be doing some damage to your um to your wife. 
if you do this because if it's working for me i know it can do it for you so holla at me um on instagram and allery in that show and uh I'll, I'll tell you the product i'll tell you what product to get for twenty dollars i'll holla at y'all later man and, um subscribe to my main youtube channel in the description box my main youtube channel in the description box all right all right i'll holla at y'all later Alan Ray there, uh, you, you want a consultation, anything, hit me up on Instagram and all my health and relationship products and stuff and techniques. Hit me up on Instagram as well. Press like, subscribe, hit the notification bell. I'll holler at y'all later, man. I'm out. Stay prayed up, y'all. Stay prayed up in Jesus' name.